everyone. This is the news with me, Vanessa. Indonesia says as in concern over failure to implement Myanmar peace plan. Indonesia said that foreign ministers attending a special ASEAN meeting had expressed concerns over the failure to implement a peace plan agreed with Myanmar's military rulers. In this conference after the meeting, Indonesian Foreign Minister Redno Marsudi said Indonesia condemns the recent violent acts of the Myanmar junta and urged engagement with all stakeholders to resolve the Myanmar crisis. Para Menlu ASEAN menyampaikan concern. The ASEAN Foreign Ministers expressed concerns and disappointment that no significant progress has been made on the implementation of the five-point consensus. The concern is clear, and some countries express their frustration on the lack of progress. Adap tidak adanya kemajuan ini. A special meeting of the ASEAN was held in Jakarta to discuss the so-called five-point consensus agreed with the junta 18 months ago, though there were no representatives from the Myanmar present. Myanmar's generals have been paired from high-level ASEAN meetings since last year when the army ousted Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi's elected government, detaining her and thousands of activists and launching a deadly crackdown that has given rise to armed resistance movements. Police detain woman carrying gun outside Indonesian presidential palace. A woman was detained by Indonesian authorities for carrying a gun outside the Merdeka presidential palace in Jakarta, though President Joko Widodo was not there at the time and no injuries were reported. Officials said the woman appeared to be in her 20s and was wearing the niqab and she was apprehended by security officers after brandishing the gun near the palace but did not enter the palace compound. <laughs> Indonesia is the world's biggest Muslim-majority country, has previously suffered attacks carried out by Islamic militants who have at times targeted government officials and security forces. Last year, police shot dead a woman who opened fire on officers at the National Police Headquarters in Jakarta in an attack inspired by the Islamic State. The ASEAN foreign minister discussed Myanmar crisis without Myanmar representation. Southeast Asian foreign ministers met in Jakarta to discuss how to restart a stalled peace process in military-ruled Myanmar, where dozens have been killed after an escalation of violence in recent weeks. The meeting at the Secretariat of the ASEAN in the Indonesian capital will not be attended by any representatives from Myanmar. Recent weeks have seen some of the bloodiest incidents in Myanmar, including the bombing of the country's largest prison and an airstrike in Kachin State, which local media said killed at least 50 people. ASEAN is leading the international peace effort, but the junta has done little to honor its commitments, agreed with the bloc last year on implementing a five-point consensus, which includes an immediate halt to violence, starting dialogue towards a peace agreement, as well as allowing an ASEAN envoy chair to facilitate mediation and for the regional grouping to provide humanitarian assistance. United Nations experts say a coalition should put pressure on the Myanmar junta as with Ukraine. Thank you, and um, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for... An independent United Nations expert said Russian weapons being used in Ukraine are also killing people in Myanmar, urging countries to form a coalition, just as they have on Moscow over Ukraine, to target and pressure Myanmar's military junta. And there's a, there's a connection between the people of Myanmar and the people of Ukraine. Among them is the fact that some of the very types of weapons that are being used to kill people in Ukraine are being used to kill the people of Myanmar. And they come from the very same source. They come from, they come from Russia. Myanmar has been in crisis since the army ousted leader Aung San Suu Kyi's elected government, detaining her and other officials and launching a bloody crackdown on protest and other dissent. The United Nations Security Council has long been split on Myanmar, with diplomats saying China and Russia would likely shield the junta from strong action.
The United Nations Special Rapporteur on Human Rights in Myanmar, Tom Andrews, said a coalition of countries should instead target the junta with sanctions and an arms embargo. The United States and European allies have coordinated their implementation of sanctions on Russia since Moscow invaded neighboring Ukraine on February 24, 2022. Law. Okay, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you so sir. very much. Thailand's transgender lawyer wants her Miss Universe pageants to inspire. Very a Thai celebrity media tycoon transgender rights advocate, a new owner of the Miss Universe Beauty pageant, wants to use the event to inspire women like her and boost tourism. Miss Universe. But I would love to encourage, yeah, the people who is running the, the country, the government, to see the essence of having the money from tourism. And the vehicle, the best way to do so, to promote the five F factors is Miss Universe is almost one billion people watching and owned by Thai trans women, 100%. Why don't you just use me? I should become useful and everything we can talk because you, I'm not the outsider. I'm the Thai person who would love to contribute the goodness to the country also. Her company said she bought the Miss Universe organization for 20 million US dollar, marking the first time the beauty pageant organizers has been owned by a woman. She told Reuters that the acquisition fits into JKN's ecosystem and gives her a platform to inspire others. Jacopong has been outspoken about her experience as a transgender woman and also set up the Life Inspire, for Thailand foundation to advocate the rights to dignity and opportunities for transgender people. The government expects to see just over 10 million visitors this year and double that in 2023. United States, Japan, South Korea vow closer ties in face of North Korea provocations. The United States, Japan and South Korea warned that an unparalleled scale of response will to be warranted if North Korea conducts a seven nuclear bomb test. Japan and the Republic of Korea are strong and close allies to the United States. Our commitment to defending both countries is ironclad and we are clearly bound together by common security interests. Washington and its allies believe North Korea could be about to resume nuclear bomb testing for the first time since 2017. Sherman said the United States remains committed to dialogue with North Korea without preconditions. North Korea has been carrying out weapons tests at an unprecedented pace this year, firing more than two dozen ballistic missiles, including one that flew over Japan. IMF cuts its economic forecast as China slowed down bites. Uh, thank you. So, Malaysia... The International Monetary Fund cut Asia's economic forecast as global monetary tightening rising inflation blamed on the war in Ukraine and China's sharp slowdown damped the region's recovery prospects. Compared to the April World Economic Outlook, we have downgraded our forecast for growth in Asia and the Pacific by 0 0.9 percentage points in 2022 and 0 0.8 percentage points in 2023. One would hope that with, with the party congress behind us, there would be, uh, you know, uh, further um, attention being paid to policy response to these. So in our baseline, what we assume is that um, uh, these restrictions relating to the COVID pandemic would be gradually lifted uh, in 2023, right? And But we don't see a quick uh, resolution of the real estate sector because that could, be, that could take longer. The IMF added among the biggest headwinds is China's rapid and broad-based economic slowdown blamed on strict COVID-19 lockdowns and its worsening property woes. While inflation in Asia remains subdued compared with other regions, most central banks must continue rising interest rates to ensure inflation expectations do not become the uncourt, the IMF also said in its Asia-Pacific Regional Economic Outlook report. South Korean president says South Korea has not supplied lethal weapons to Ukraine. South Korean president Yoon Suk-yeol said 
Seoul has not provided any lethal weapons to Ukraine after Russian President Vladimir Putin said such a decision will destroy their bilateral relations. Putin made the remark at a conference in Moscow accusing of West of inciting the war in Ukraine. <laughs> We have been in solidarity with the international community for peaceful humanitarian aid to Ukraine and have not provided any lethal weapons. As a United States ally, South Korea has maintained that it will not provide Ukraine with lethal aid and has sought to avoid antagonizing Russia both for economic reasons and the influence that Moscow can exert with North Korea. At least 31 people died in tropical storm flooded in the Philippines. An approaching tropical storm flooded several villages in the southern Philippines, killing at least 31 people. A video by Alizain A. Tahir showed rescue operations in the town of Datu Odin Sinswat in Maguindanao province. Nawib Sinarimbo, Interior Minister of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in the southern island of Mindanao said, floats and landslides have affected several municipalities in Maguindanao province while search and rescue operations were ongoing for the trapped residents. Tropical storm Nalgae, with gusts up to 90 km per hour or 56 mile per hour, is approaching the central Philippines and may make or head northwest to the island of Luzon. Residents express shock at South Korea's Halloween stampede. South Korean residents of Itaewon were in shock after a Halloween crash killed over a hundred of people in a packed nightlife area in Seoul. Emergency officials said at least 153 people, including 19 foreigners, mostly teenagers and young adults in their 20s, were killed in a crash when a huge crowds celebrating Halloween surged into an ally in Itaewon district. I've been living in this Taiwan area for a long time, so I know those people running business here had an extremely suffered. They were very much looking forward to the day Halloween, so the government couldn't really stop people to go in the area or limit the number of the people. It was the first Halloween event in Seoul in three years after the country lifted COVID-19 restrictions and social distancing. Costumes and personal belongings mingled with blood spots in the narrow street. And that's the news for today. Enjoy your holiday with your loved ones. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see each other soon.